Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have released their latest Dev Channel build for this week for the Dev Channel Insiders, build 25309. And um, this latest release for this week does offer several enhancements and features, um, obviously, for Windows 11 that we could possibly see roll out in up and coming stable versions. And uh, this is quite a major um, release for the Dev Channel in build 25309 this week, and there's quite a lot to get through. So if you are interested, just to take a look at some of the features that Microsoft has highlighted uh, in the actual change log and the release notes for this latest Dev Channel build. Now the first uh, is a new volume mixer in the quick settings. And Microsoft now has made some improvements in the volume mixer as we can see. And this basically gives users a more modern so-called way of customizing the audio of different apps. And um, if you are a Dev Channel Insider, you can try out the new keyboard shortcut, Win, Control, and V on your keyboard to launch the volume mixer easily. So um, we have a couple of um, volume mixer enhancements that rolled out in the Moment 2 update, but obviously this is just taking things to a bit of a, a, another level. And yeah, we even get our spatial audio, and I think this will be a nice um, enhancement if it does roll out to the stable version. Moving on to the next, uh, yeah, we get improved touch keyboard settings. And um, apparently this was a feature that Microsoft was testing and now they are bringing it back. And the touch keyboard settings have a new drop down menu, as we can see um, on the time and language typing page. And uh, um, this gives you three options to control whether tap in and edit. And edit control should launch the touch keyboard. So you get never. Uh, when no keyboard attached and always, as you can see, highlighted in the screenshot. So new touch keyboard settings have made a return in build 25309. And then moving on to the next, and this is also an interesting one, um, which, did, which does um, require some hardware requirements. But nonetheless, and um, for the purpose of today's video, here we get um, auto color management, as we can see from the screenshot provided which is also known as ACM, or the Hardware Accelerated System Level Color Management. And this is now coming to insiders in the Dev Channel. And this was uh, previously tested on, on um, select SDR displays in October last year. And now Microsoft rolling it out in build 25309. And it can be activated by going to the Settings, system display, advanced display, as we can see. And here you get automatically manage color for apps. And uh, um, there is a side note here that uh, the feature has certain requirements as mentioned. So there are a couple of um, hardware requirements and I will uh, leave the um, release notes down below in the description uh, if you would be interested for some, for some more info regarding those hardware requirements. And then moving to the next voice access improvements. Now uh, this has also been released uh, to the Windows 11 beta channel insiders uh, for this week, which is build 2261.1391 and 2264.1391. So if you are uh, interested in what's going on in the beta channel, I'm not doing a video uh, this week because it's exactly the same over and above fixes. You get enhancements uh, to voice access improvements, which we will cover in this dev channel build. Now, um, basically, they've introduced a redesigned in-app command help page, as we can see. And it provides a whole lot of new text selection and editing commands. And over and above that, voice access is expanded to other English dialogues. So um, if we just head to the next screenshot, this can also be accessed from the voice access bar. And here we have some of those other English dialogues, which include English UK, English India, English New Zealand, English Canada, and English Australia. And as mentioned, these improvements for voice access have also rolled out to the beta channel for this week, in case you were interested. Moving on to the next screenshot, um, this is a controversial one, which Microsoft uh, doesn't uh, seem to be giving up on. And this is badging on the start menu when it comes to your profile picture. And I have covered this previously, but Microsoft seems to be um, working on this quite a bit. And they are trying out uh, new ways on how to and how it will uh, present its service on your start menu, as we can see from the screenshot provided. And in build 25309, Microsoft now is testing different designs or treatments um, of the start menu badging. 
that show an option for backing up your files using OneDrive, obviously, as you can see from the three different options uh, in the screenshot provided. And over and above that, if we just head quickly to the next, just to mention uh, this very quickly, um, over and above that, um, uh, this also includes a test for a new treatment of the personalized second chance out-of-box experience. So that's S-C-O-O-B-E screen. So that out-of-box experience is when you are uh, booting up a new PC with a new installation of Windows 11 on it. So the, um, basically they are testing a new treatment of the personalized second chance OOBE experience. And then um, to head into the next, uh, Microsoft has also made some minor improvements in the look of the taskbar search a bar which they did recently roll out in the moment two update but yeah in this week's uh, in this week's um a beta channel sorry dev channel build um they are making it lighter as we can see and this is basically to help it stand out when windows is set to a custom color mode so i think that might be a a nice improvement if it ever does roll out to the stable version which i actually think it will because microsoft has focused a lot of their attention on the search box of late and then uh, just moving to the next um let me just zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better in the video uh build 25309 um, also rolls out to insiders a new what they are calling a new pizza icon as we can see in the highlighted uh, rectangle on the command bar uh, in the file explorer which uh, signifies the Windows app SDK version of File Explorer and the switch from using WinUI 2 to WinUI 3. So you are previewing the Windows app SDK version of the File Explorer. So that's just a little what they're calling pizza icon now in the command bar of the File Explorer. And we're almost there. Um, heading to the snap layouts. Um, once again, this build um, is introducing new treatments for the snap layouts, which Microsoft um, has focused on of, of late. Um, this will decrease the hover time required to basically invoke and, and activate the flyout when um, you are using your mouse over the maximize restore button. That actually activates the snap layout, as many of you would know, um, in an app's title bar. And these improvements um, Microsoft uh, made will also allow you to pull in the icon of the app window you are working in and add in a descriptive title so i have mentioned that in a previous video but that's just a quick overview of the snap layouts now being rolled out in build 25309 where microsoft um uh, is rolling out some improvements and then um, heading to the next just to mention this very quickly and this is the second last one for this week um simplified chinese handwriting recognition engine improvement as we can see and the simplified Chinese handwriting recognition engine is now faster and more accurate in build 25309, according to Microsoft. And the last uh, new addition for this week, just to mention for the purpose of today's video, Microsoft are testing uh, new theme-aware widgets, as they are calling it. And they, they carry on to say that widgets will now follow the widgets, sorry, the Windows theme. Sorry, that's widgets will now follow the Windows theme, which is either dark, as we can see, or light by having a higher contrast ratio to make the details on the taskbar more visible. And this is just Microsoft testing a couple of those um, high contrast ratio themes out when it comes to theme-aware widgets. So that's more or less what is new for this week. Um, a whole lot of new features. Some were previously being tested on and Microsoft deprecated and have rolled out again in this build, as mentioned. And over and above these new improvements, um, if we just head over to the release notes quickly, and um, we get all the different fixes for the dev channel. Um, and then because we are dealing with the dev channel, it is still early days. And over and above all the fixes that have roll, rolled out for different components, uh, we also get the known issues because obviously there is a whole lot of new features that are being tested, which could have bugs. So there are a couple of known issues just to be aware of. And as mentioned earlier, I'll leave a link to these release notes in the description if you'd like some more info. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.